So first of all, I would say, even if we never solved continual learning, um, <clears throat> even if we never solved continual learning and memory, um, I think that the potential for the LLMs to do, you know, incredibly, uh, incredibly well to, you know, affect things at the scale of the economy will be very high, right? If I think of the field I used to be in, biology and medicine, like, you know, let's say I had a very smart Nobel Prize winner and, you know, I, I, I said, okay, you know, you're, you know, you've, you've, you've discovered all these things. You have this incredibly smart mind, but you know, you can't, you can't, you know, you can't like read new textbooks or absorb any new information. I mean, that would be difficult, but like, still, if you had like 10 million of those, like they're, they're still going to make a lot of biology breakthroughs. Like they're going to be limited. They're going to be able to do some things humans can't, and there are some things humans can do that they can't. But, but, but even that, even if we impose that as a ceiling, like man, that's pretty damned impressive and transformative. And even if I said you never solved that, like I think, you know, I think people are underestimating the impact.